Monday, three of Georgia audio video. Trying to the best way to get audio for any situation. We go at the water. But yeah, otherwise, that's audio. <laughs> Okay, so like I mentioned underwater I am doing a audio video today and basically how I set up my audio for every single one of my videos because that was something that was highly requested if you want a video that is more on the editing of audio and how I edit the audio in post-production then comment down below and I'll do a video for you guys on that topic so right now you are hearing the audio coming directly from the a6400 and this is with no lav mic no shotgun mic nothing it's just raw coming straight from the camera and this is how it sounds you're gonna hear a lot of ambient noise right now. There's beetles going off in the back and there's wind. Uh, there might be some people that are actually on their motorcycles here. Uh, they don't have their motorcycle on right now, but you're gonna, you might hear that throughout the video. And speaking of motorcycle, there you go. There's some noise for you. And also I just wanted you to let you guys know that I have two other devices here phone and maybe a 360 camera or an action camera that you guys may have and another camera that is accessible by a lot of people but yet not stepping up to a mirrorless or DSLR camera because those are thousands of dollars and yes a phone can be thousands of dollars especially when you buy an Apple product but you can get one for cheap and you don't really need the latest and greatest because I've been using an iPhone 7 plus for a lot of my videos in the past so yeah and you guys are going to hear raw audio coming out of both of these devices all right so now this one is coming from my iPhone iPhone 12 Pro Max front facing camera and the audio is all the microphones that's on this thing. So how does that sound? This is raw, wind, ambient, beetles in the background. How does it sound? I think it sounds relatively okay. If not, I think it's better than the Insta360. Uh, maybe even the camera as well. So I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, so this is how it sounds with the Insta360 ONE X2 raw audio coming straight from it. I might have changed the gain level a little bit just in case it is a little low, but otherwise this is how it sounds with the wind, ambient noise and everything. There is beetles going on in the background. But yeah, this is how it sounds. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before on the Insta360 ONE X2, I'll leave a link down in the description below as well as a title tag. And you guys can go check that one out after this video. So just a reminder, this is raw audio coming from the built-in microphone on the A6400. And I'm just gonna do a quick explanation before I switch to a better mic here. Now, it doesn't really matter what kind of camera you use. You use an Insta360 or an action cam or you use a phone. You want to get the audio sounding more cohesive. The reason being is because you might actually film in different locations. One might be a nice quiet area and then another might be as windy and beetles in the background like the today, you know? So now to get a little bit more consistent audio throughout your entire video, you want to actually use a different device. Now, whether that be a wireless go where it's a wireless transmitter, so you can go as far away as it allows you to, or you can use a device like I have. So I use a device called a Zoom F2. This little sucker right here is so good for any audio that you need to do. Whether you're rigging up a talent for your wedding, if you have two of these, that's great. I got the Bluetooth edition, which you can control from your phone. But otherwise, if you don't get the Bluetooth version, save some money and you will still get a very, very good device. Now, the microphone that comes with it is decent you can still kind of you know peak the actual microphone but you can't peak the actual device because it's a 32-bit float now for those of you who don't know what a 32-bit float is is basically gives you a whole different range of the audio going from very quiet to very high and it saves all that audio up to a certain volume amount but it is almost impossible to peak a 32-bit float unless you get something super high frequency that is just gonna blow this thing away but you're probably going to peak the microphone before you even try to peak the device itself. Now, if you haven't seen my review on this particular device, please go check out that video up here. But otherwise, this isn't really a review of the Zoom F2. It's about how to rig yourself up when you are taking video for your YouTube or for any other video that you need to take for being a content creator. All right, so what you're gonna need is a lav mic and a lavalier microphone. All right, so you're gonna hear this annoying sound in the background right now. Uh, they're doing a little bit of construction on the bridge, but we're gonna continue on with the video because this actually gives a really good example. 
So what you're gonna need is a device. So that is gonna be your Zoom F2 or any other lav mic that you have. It doesn't need to be 32-bit flow. If it is though, it's gonna be super helpful for you just in the long run. It's a really good investment to get yourself a lavalier that has 32-bit float. Now you are also gonna need a microphone, obviously. So what you're gonna do is you are actually gonna take this and you are going to tape it to either your skin or your shirt. Now this is kind of preference wise and also it really depends on the situation of how you're going to use your microphone and the conditions that you're filming in. Now just a quick disclaimer here, I am no audio engineer, I'm not claiming to be a professional at this, I'm not a know-it-all, so this is just how I do things, how I learn things from other people, so this is kind of like me relaying information to my viewers and try to educate a different part of an audience. So after you get that, you're going to use some gaff tape. Gaff tape, why? Because it doesn't leave really bad sticky residue do like duct tape does but also it's not as strong as duct tape so when you are taping it to your skin it's not going to be that tough to take it off mind you I mean if you do have a hairy chest or something it is going to be a little bit painful no matter almost what tape you use maybe go for medical grade tape if you are doing that then it won't hurt as bad when you are ripping this tape off of you later and this is the last thing I have here uh, this is just a case that I'm using it to hold it in by all means the stuff in here is basically homemade what I did was I took a, a cotton shirt and I cut it up and I just recycled some of the fabric because cotton is something that's really, really good when it comes to rubbing. The rustling noise that you hear sometimes when you have put a lavalier mic on before is most likely because you are wearing a polyester or something that has nylon in your actual material of shirt that you have. And that actually causes a lot of rustling when it comes to microphones. So best to use anything cotton to cover the microphone and stick it onto you before you start filming and going ahead and doing your thing. So what I did was really simple. I just cut these little squares and this is coming from a cotton shirt. And I just cut it because it was old t-shirt, I didn't really need it anymore. And into little squares like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this once over in half and that's what you're left with right there. And then what you're gonna do is take your lav mic here. I'm gonna show you this up close here. So basically what you're gonna do is put the microphone just about maybe a centimeter below the edge of the top edge right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're just going to cover that up and then fold those ends over like that. And then what you're gonna do is put gaff tape around this. So cut a piece of tape that is, you know, somewhat the width of it, it doesn't really matter. Just don't cover the very edge of the actual lav mic of the cotton. And so what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is stick tape on and hold that piece of fabric in. And you should have something like this. You're gonna see the end there, the microphone's inside, not on the very edge of the cotton and that is what it's gonna look like. So the next thing you're gonna do is take another piece of tape and uh, this part is when you stick it onto yourself or the shirt. Now the reason for why you would put it on the shirt is less rustling noise. Your skin actually acts like a nice barrier when it comes to cotton shirts and doesn't create that much noise when it comes to cotton rubbing against skin. However, if you do it the other way around and you're wearing nylon or polyester and you don't have any protection like cotton on you, or even if you do, you are still gonna get really bad rustling noise. However, because you do have a little bit of cotton on your actual microphone, that is gonna save you when it comes to wearing other types of clothing like nylon or polyester. So for this demonstration, I am going to stick it to myself on my skin. Grab a pretty big chunk so it actually can go over like this and tape both sides of the microphone. Again, when you are sticking this, do not put the tape right at the edge and then you're gonna have something like this. Now what you can do is you can actually lift up your shirt and place the mic. Now where you're placing the mic is almost just as important as putting fabric over the microphone itself. So what you're gonna do, basically where your diaphragm is, bottom of your pectoral muscles and the top of your rib muscle, there is a triangle that forms right in the bottom here. That is gonna be the biggest pocket of air and you are going to place the microphone right in that pocket. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Now that you have your microphone attached to your skin like this, what you are going to do is take your other piece of tape that you had, or in my case I had because I ripped a pretty small piece, but if not, take another piece of tape and what you're gonna do is take a little bit of the wire and you're going to make excess wire and just put it to the side there and stick another piece of tape like so. Now the reason why you want this piece of tape holding a little bit of slack is just in case you stretch or you squat or something or you twist your body, you're gonna have a little bit of extra wire for play and that is going to protect you in the long run when it comes to 
the wire being pulled accidentally or something like that so you're not going to have that issue when you put this on so for the majority of this video you've been listening to the built-in microphone on the a6400 and now i'm going to switch over to my lav mic and this is what it sounds without any editing of the audio and for a brief moment i'm going to go quiet and you're going to hear ambient noises and everything like that and it is a little bit breezy as well now I'm not sure if you can hear the construction going on behind the camera over here, but that is exactly what it sounds like if you did hear it. So it does pick up a lot of noise. Now, having said that, I do post edit. Now when I edit and post, I am doing dialogue only when it comes to isolating it. So I can use a software like Isotope. And again, none of these products are sponsored or softwares, and I just truly use them. And so you can actually isolate the dialogue in Isotope and basically just cut out the ambient noise altogether. However, it's easier said than done because it does take a little bit of time to edit audio. Now another question people have asked is how do I sync my audio? Syncing audio is actually a pretty simple process. What you're going to do is hit record on your camera, hit record on your lav mic, and then what you're going to do is a visual sync to clap and both the audios on both devices are gonna pick this up and you can go into post and then synchronize by audio or time code if you have a time coder, but otherwise you can just sync with audio. And what you're gonna do is just sync to clap like this. I actually do three times usually because once is not enough just in case something in the background like there's a big bang noise or something like that and picks up as a clap. You just want to make sure you have a visual clap with you facing the camera and physically clapping just in case the syncing of audio doesn't work and you can match it to the action of what you're trying to do on camera. Okay, so now you are hearing the edited version of the lavalier mic after I have edited it in post. So this is what that sounds like. Now I am staying still right now and I have the lavalier mic on, but what if you know I move around, what does it sound like? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move around for you. So again, I'm just moving around, I'm twisting. Oh, I haven't exercised in so long. So I don't know if you hear some rustling noise with my shirt right now, but that's what that sounds like. I'll actually physically rustle my shirt and that's what that sounds like. And again, I've already edited the audio on this. So even if I did rustle my shirt like that, you're probably not gonna hear too much of the rustling because I de-rustled in the editing software. So now I'm back to the raw audio from the lavalier mic because I want you guys to hear what the rustling sounds like when I move my shirt like that and what it sounded like before when I actually took that rustle away. So here we go. Here's a test. You guys can hear that pretty clearly, I'm sure. And then this is a clip with me having the edited version of the same one. So it doesn't really matter what device you use, you can still sync the audio. You're still using the same device. So you can use your phone or an action camera and you're still gonna get the exact same audio and you might have different clips, but at least you don't have to work the audio differently for every single one of those devices. All right, so that's basically how you get good audio is to basically get a lavalier mic, attach it to yourself, going to be consistent audio throughout every single one of your devices. I'm going to go for a little bit of a scooter ride as well and you guys are going to hear me talking and I only have one shirt on right now that's covering me and the microphone and also you're going to have that cotton fabric that is also protecting the microphone as well. So let's go for a ride. So yeah guys if you like this video please smash the like button and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right I'm going to keep riding. Peace! Woo! Da 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 ba 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 ba